Yo guys, what's up? Joe Mex here. Got another video blog for you guys today. I got a question from Jim. He emailed me and asked me, what age would you recommend a starting, uh, I'm sorry, would, what age would you recommend starting a training program? Uh, Jim, that is an extremely broad question, so I will try to answer it to the best of my ability. But, um, you know, here at the underground, we deal with 6th graders, 7th graders, 8th graders, and, you know, obviously they're not doing the same thing that more advanced guys are doing. So, you know, when can you start a training program? I mean, kids should be moving, playing as many sports as possible from a young age, all right? It's, you know, most kids these days are living a sedentary lifestyle. You know, it's just a society we're, we're in. They're in a desk for eight hours a day with their shoulders rounded over. They're carrying like 30 pound book bags to school. You know, that's not gonna do shit for your performance, all right? So, you know, doing, uh, teaching your body how to squat properly, how to do lunges, how to, you know, run properly, running mechanics, that stuff is not gonna hurt you. You know, that's only gonna help you prevent injuries. So, if you're a sixth, seventh grader, a lot of body weight stuff, just learn, you know, specific movement patterns that will help lay a solid foundation for when you're older. So body weight stuff like push-ups, pull-ups, rows, recline rows, um, lunges, squats, how to skip, how to shuffle properly, how to land from jumping, jumping rope, uh, walking on your hands, bear crawling, crab walks. That's all like baseline stuff that, you know, I do and that we do here at the underground with the young athletes. That's really gonna lay a solid foundation now, not all sixth, seventh, eighth graders do that type of stuff. If you're in high school, you know you could be, you could still be like a beginner. Just because you're older doesn't mean you're more advanced. All right, you have your real age and you have your training age. So you know, the younger you start, the more foundation you can build for when you're older. So you know, that's a very broad question, Jim. Hopefully, that gave you kind of like an idea of when you should start training and what type of stuff you should be doing, all right? Take care, guys. That was, I believe, the fourth video blog post. Don't quote me on that, but I think that was the fourth or fifth. And, you know, keep sending your questions in. I'm answering every email that you guys send in. So don't be shy. Don't be afraid. Joe Megs here. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.